Hey everybody, this is Felicia for CombsTV.com. In this video, we're going to take a quick look into some basic gameplay from um, the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the ninth release for the Call of Duty franchise, and it's available now on PS3, Xbox 360, Wii U, and Windows. With the simultaneous release of Black Ops Declassified on the PS Vita, for any of you who like to game on the go. Here we're going to check out the game in multiplayer on the PS3. In this sequel to the original Black Ops, we see a lot of similarities in the gameplay. However, there have been quite a few changes. For example, this is the first Call of Duty game in which players experience future warfare technology. In single player, there are two connected storylines from the end of the first Cold War to a new Cold War in the year 2025, where warfare te technology consists of things such as robotics, cyber warfare, and unmanned vehicles. In single as well as multiplayer campaigns, the non-linear gameplay makes way for branching storylines, which are determined by the player's decisions throughout the game. Known as Strike Force missions, these branching storylines appear in the new Cold War. The success or failure of these missions will determine the course and the end to the game with features like permanent death. In multiplayer, multi-team games now allow matches to host three or more teams and wager matches have been removed. The developers also unveiled a new system to pair players based on their skills in the game, as well as COD casting which allows players to stream gameplay directly to YouTube from their consoles. There have also been revisions in the create a class function, and the kill streak function is now known as score streaks. Players still receive rewards for killing other players, but are now rewarded for other things such as capturing territories too. The zombies mode returns to us, this time in its own campaign, with support for 8 player co-op compared to the previous 4 player which allows for the 4 player versus 4 player versus zombies grief mode. Transit mode has multiple maps and your means of transportation is the bus. The third option is survival mode, which is meant to be this game's version of the original zombies mode. Many critics and gamers alike have very positive reviews for the game and the changes they felt were overdue. Innovation, awesome graphics, an interesting story, and easy controls quickly made this a must-have, must-play game. Damn it. 